morning, y'all. We are gonna take you along for a ride. We are going on a once in a lifetime trip to the Colorado River. We're gonna be rafting it, sleeping outside. Grandpa says it's amazing and he's taking us on this trip. We're in Lexington, we're getting ready to go to Detroit and then we're gonna go to Vegas. We have all day in Vegas and then they're gonna come pick us up the next morning and we're going to start the adventure. It's just me and hubby. We love the kids with G-Man and J-Mo. It's gonna be so much fun. We just made it to Vegas and we are gonna go and just hang out here for the day. And then tomorrow they're gonna pick us up and we're gonna go to the Colorado River. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited to see how beautiful everything is. They say it's gorgeous. We have a dinner tonight, so it's gonna be so much fun. We made it to the hotel. We're gonna get ready and go to Caesars here in a minute. Say hi. Hey, Grandpa. Here's everybody getting ready to go on the adventure tomorrow. We're so excited. Hi. We got in to Caesars Pool. Well, we got, we got a room. And we got Caesars Pool. And they said it was completely booked up. And you wouldn't be able to get in. And we got in so easily. It's so pretty here. It's burning hot. But I've never been to Caesars Pool. And it looks so cool. Made it to the vet, to the Caesar's pool. We got some pizza for everybody. We're having so much fun. We are on the bus. We're getting ready to head to the airplane. They're gonna take us to the Grand Canyon. We're gonna start going down the river. Down the river. We just made it to the airport where we're gonna fly out of this water for the lookout for Betty. It is. You can see the mountains in the background. Look at those cool helicopters. So pretty. We are getting ready to get on the airplanes. There's our plane over there. We're on the airplane and we're getting ready to head down into the canyon. We've got Grandpa on here. You guys say hi. Here we go. We made it safely. Look at our plane. So I'm on that plane over there. Western How Western cool is that? Western it's Western so Western pretty. Western Look at that plane. That plane looks Western so cool. So excited. Busting in to the River and Grand Canyon right now. We're so excited. We got everybody here. Here was Grandpa. Here we go. Airplane ride. I know. We made it to the river. All the rafts are packed up. We got our bags packed up. I got Karen Yay! and Wes here. We're so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's our little bag, day bags. We got night bags. And look at the rafts. There's daddy. It's going to be so much fun. Look how pretty. We got a bunch of people in our group. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, any questions on that spot? Perfect. Our next spot, right back on these white pads. Uh, this is what we call the chicken coop. Tour guys just explained everything on how and to save, gonna... drink lots of water, and they're getting us a snack right now. And then we're gonna start going down the river. There and look, they gave these. They came with it. How cool is that? And then these are our little like water day bags to keep everything dry. And then we have a huge one to keep all our luggage in. It's so cool. Literally one of the best trips ever. It's so pretty here. It's gorgeous. You can hear the rapids in the background. How pretty. I'm like just stunned and enamored by how beautiful it is out here. I love it. And then they are setting up shop, making lunch over there. We've got a good crew here. So much fun. Doing the first tab in the front. I'm so nervous. Here we go. <laughs>
water rafting experience success. It was so much fun. I don't know if I'll ride in the front again though because it was freezing, but we've hit our camp. This is where we're gonna spend the night, eat dinner, and do everything. Look how pretty the canyon and the mountains are. I love it. We have like our own personal beach. And here you can see all the water. So pretty. It's almost unreal how beautiful it is out here. So cool. Don't hold on to the bar because this bar is going to slide, all right? Sometimes you just got to coax it down a little bit. pouring down rain and we've got it's literally tent city here so we have our tent here for if it rains and then there's literally okay, tents the popped up everywhere y'all can pick your yeah toxic masculinity <laughs> and get wet and, <laughs> and we're gonna go and get some appetizers we have appetizers made over there so Here is the appetizer. It's crab rangoon. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Here we have Tent City. These are the easiest tents to set up ever. Dinner the first night, they have salad and rice. What do you think? And carrots. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby. It's so good. Steak yeah, it looks just And out. onions. This looks so amazing. It's our first morning in the canyon. Sleep wasn't too bad. I wouldn't say it was awesome though. Um, everybody's kind of getting up and packing up. <laughs> and then they had coffee, orange juice, and tea this morning. And they're down there. <laughs> they're down there cooking our breakfast. But it's so cool. So they put the coffee beans in here and then you filter it out with this filter to drink your coffee. It's awesome hot water for tea and then they have all these different varieties of tea. I drank mint this morning. This one looks good. I want this one tomorrow. Orange juice and then they're cooking away and we're going to start rafting soon. of the day and this is called red wall cavern i think and it was dug out by the river so massive it's so hard to tell unless you're actually here but there you have the river and then look at how neat this is it goes all the way up and then all the way back oh yeah so pretty cool. our tour guides are trying to climb the rocks that is nuts <gasps> this is stressing me out. No, it's good, it's good. It is good, it's impressive. lunch stop before the day and this may be a little too much information for you but when you have to go to the restroom here they ask that you go actually in the Colorado River be careful there's thank that red so yeah. much. Yeah. thank you because if you pee on the shore it causes algae to grow and they don't want to you know mess up the Colorado River or they don't want to mess up the Grand Canyon area on the shore so I'm hiking out to go to the restroom. There's a little trail. It's actually really pretty here. We're having so much fun. 
Um, all the tour guides are, are amazing. They tell you so much information. I would wish I could show it all, but it would be too long. You just have to take this trip and learn about the Grand Canyon. There's so much history about the Indians and how the Grand Canyon was formed with the ocean and the river and just the movement of everything and the way that the rocks shifted. So cool, it's beautiful here. Hey, there's my girl. She's going pee pee too. Picture. What? From, from here. Oh, oh gosh, here. is it so cool? It's, it's Show me. Gorgeous. So we found this awesome spot, it's like the perfect picture spot. Today's yeah, lunch is out. really good. It's like a curry chicken salad wrap with chips. It's so yummy. There's some wraps. Probably one of the most beautiful natural things I've ever seen. It's so beautiful. It looks fake. It's not so absolutely stunning. This is the most gorgeous little river I've ever seen. They say, I think it's, it's same, when the hot it's and the cold. Carbonate. Oh, it's, it's the same stuff that's like in Lake Moraine or Lake Louise. So, uh -huh. what causes Bam that? It's, it's calcium carbonate deposits. Okay. I think that's like chalk. That is so pretty. the trip and we have this cute little what do we call this the honey <laughs> oh my gosh so we have this own little our own little area over here it's kind of cool we're all camped out we got our cots we've got our life jackets drying and then we also washed our clothes today so we literally are roughing it like in the old days we're drying them on the clothespin or with clothespins we got our tent, Kara Wesser over there, and we're gonna go get some appetizers. We've already had so much happen tonight at camp. We had a raven get into Michael's bag, steal his underwear, shirts, they steal so much, these little birds, they're sneaky, and now we're doing grab bags where everybody pulls out, pulls out a shot of alcohol and takes a shot together. Wake them up. Come we're on. in the Grand Canyon, there are no rules, Mike. Yeah. We're playing Dirty Santa uh, with we alcohol. Know if this is sanctioned by Western Europe. I appreciate your work. You and having a great time and everybody get home safe. <laughs> Thank God for the great country we live in. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> this is our second morning, our third day, and today's supposed to be the day with the biggest rapids. I'm nervous, but excited because it's going to be so much fun. And then I do have to say this, I am not a coffee drinker, but they make this um, stuff that's called cowboy coffee, and it is phenomenal. So good. So if you're a coffee drinker, you're going to absolutely love it. Biggest waves, it was so much fun. Michael almost got knocked off. We've had a blast, and then Grandpa found so did Wes. <laughs> Grandpa found a prickly pear cactus. Oh, wow. We have seen so many cool things. Wonderful. 
I wonder if we can actually eat it. Are we allowed to try yeah, it? Yeah, they told us to put the fruit up. We can just pick off this. Just kind of like spit out the... Uh, <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. We are going on a hike right now, and they say it's super difficult, and it is, but it's so much fun. We get to see waterfalls. We get to go swimming. Look how pretty. That's so pretty. It was super awesome. awesome. And Lou we loved it. It's been the best. Stop! No! <laughs> I love it. Tonight is fajita night, and I think they have um, guacamole as the appetizer, so it looks so good. We're gonna get some. Go check out the guacamole. Oh, it looks so good. Come on. the fourth day sorry I forgot to show y'all breakfast but they made French toast and they had pork chops and honeydew melon it was so good I had a tea um, oh and I'm not gonna show y'all well maybe I will but they have bathrooms so they have like an indoor tented bathroom and they have an outdoor bathroom and so you can look at the Colorado River and the Grand Canyons it's so cool I went to the restroom <laughs> probably too much information but it is the fourth day today the rapids aren't supposed to be too bad we're gonna go see a big waterfall so I'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun we're packing up camp right now let's do this metamorphic rock this guy right here is that metamorphic rock this is still that Tapit sandstone so we're right at the gap between the two and it goes down to like 275 and you're in the 300 million range all the way down until you get to 575, and then there's this weird gap that jumps all the way to 1.8 billion years old. Kai just gave a good geological history of the canyon, and now we're getting ready to hike up the Grand Canyon and see all the different yeah, So much fun. sure the real story we'll get it but supposedly it was when one of the tribes Indians became men they would put their handprints on it but we'll find out for sure there's more handprints on there oh, that's yeah. so one, cool. Two, three, cool and we can confirm that it was when um, one of the Indian tribes boys or I don't even know it may be girls to come of age but isn't that so cool We're at our campsite for the night and we see the sheeps with the horns or rams. I don't know exactly what they're called. We'll find out. But Wes wanted to see these so bad and we've seen them twice today now. <gasps> there he is. He's not moving though. Greatest day ever. <laughs> He's so excited. And then I'm going to show y'all. I don't know if I've shown y'all what we do for camping. So we set up a tent in case it rains because it is monsoon season. And then we sleep on these cots outside. And the best thing to do 
If you're sleeping outside, it is hot out here. It gets a little cooler in the evening, but if you sleep closer to the river, then it's a little bit cooler. So try to sleep as close to the river as you can without it coming up too high. Um, so we're out close to the river. The rest of the campsite is here. We had Trulies. We have recently fallen in love with Trulies. They taste amazing. It's almost gone, but they made Caprese salad. It was so good. They're cooking up Italian over there. And then I have to show you something. So, Grandpa can literally talk to anyone, and I have to prove it. At our camp, his bed is literally in the middle of everyone's chair where we eat dinner. So we eat as like a group. And look at this. So there is Grandpa's cot. And then here is everyone's chairs. We are literally eating around Grandpa's cot. I love it. Just a little bit about tomorrow, what tomorrow holds, right, before we have dessert. We're gonna head downstream. We've got a few rapids right out the gate. Once we get to Kanab Creek Rapid, we go around a corner and start heading this direction. And uh, it's a place we call the ice box. It doesn't get a lot of sun, so it'll be a little chilly. So maybe in the morning, wear your rain gear. Then from there, we're just gonna keep booking downstream uh, and have lunch somewhere. And kind of our main goal tomorrow is Lava Falls, right? That's the last 10 in Grand Canyon. And then Makai got us something special. Oh, wow. Kind of Ice cream. Oh, my goodness. Happy. High five. Are you excited? Ice cream. So come grab a bowl. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Okay, I wanted to show you the toilet situation because I don't know if I've shown. So there is a toilet that's enclosed with a tent, and then there is an outdoor toilet that you can go to. This is the tent toilet, and then they keep these flashing lights so that you can see in the night. And then up here is the outdoor tent, which is kind of neat. Today is our last full day. We hiked up before we have lunch, and look how beautiful this view is. It's nuts, so we're having a blast. And then today we are supposed to hit the number 10 rapid, which I think is called Big Lava or what is it? Hot Lava or? Lava. And they yeah. said they want us to get there before we hit the rapid and then climb up on the canyon to see it from the top of the canyon to see how big the rapid looks. So hopefully we'll be able to make it today and get a see that. But we are just cruising down the river right now. We're sitting on what they call, I think, is they're the buck seat. So you sit up and you can see the rapids. And right now, the river is just super calm. The canyon is beautiful. So I wanted to show y'all what it's like just to cruise down the river. We are hiking up right now to see the top of the lava rapid. So excited. We haven't seen a rapid from above. And this is a one of the 10, one of the biggest rapids on the Colorado River. It's so neat to look at a rapid from above and then you know you're gonna be going down it today. So excited, so stoked. It's really the trip the crew has been giving us like snacks and stuff and at the end they gave us Kit Kats and candy bars. Candy bars. <laughs> Alright so tonight they are making dinner and it's the last night and they said we had to like do togas. So here is my little toga outfit and then grandpa wanted me to get which it is gorgeous. He kept saying get the sunset. It looks so pretty. It's like the most perfect sunset ever. It's so pretty and Kara is working on her toga here. We got togas over here going on. So we got dressed up as toga time and then they dress up in dresses and like kind of black tie short attire. It's so cute. And they gave us gosh, yeah, shrimp, shrimp cocktail. cocktail. 
How awesome. Michael so is yeah, Caesar right. <laughs> from yeah. the Roman Empire. This is the last dinner of the night. We're getting ready to go get dinner right now. We've got everyone in their togas. Toga party. We got Caesar here. We have Cleopatra. And we wow. have, who is Cleopatra's hu husband? Probably just some dude. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the hand washing station, which is really cool. They have like a pump and then you have soap and you wash your hands before dinner and after you go to the bathroom. This is our last dinner. That is insane already. Perfect. Salmon. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Lou and P. The best boat drivers ever. Thank y'all. That looks so good. with white frosting. Ooh. We have yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Yum, that sounds so good. We just slept our last night and now we're getting ready to pack up and head to the something ranch. Bar 10. Bar 10 ranch, which is where we, I think they make us lunch and then we copter, we helicopter out of there. So where should we make it out of there safely? But I did want to show you a few things that like, you need to follow the list of what they tell you because I'm not going to tell you everything, but certain things that just I thought were awesome. Like this towel it's from Amazon, super cheap, but it's really thin. It packs up super small, dries fast, and dries all the wetness off of you. So you're going to want to shower at night and stuff. Um, and the water's freezing cold, by the way, as well. Um, so I'm going to show you another thing to keep you warm. But this towel is amazing. Put it in this little baggie. And then... You gotta have a rain jacket. Like they tell you that and you think you're gonna be fine out in the desert. Those rapids are like, in the beginning, 45 degrees and they only get up to 55 degrees. So in water temperature, that is so freaking cold. This North Face jacket was amazing. Some people had wet pants. I kinda wish I did, but it was fine. This kept me warm enough. And then I always wore a baseball cap, which was awesome because I could put the hood up over mm -hmm. my head easily. And I liked the mesh in the back because it dried faster. So have a hat. It's going to be crazy sun out there. They give you your own day dry bag, but I really liked this for my camera. So if you have a camera, it was just extra protection for my camera. I loved this. I got this from Amazon, super cheap. A little pillow. This one is like a packable travel pillow. You fold it up and it folds up into this little bag. So it's easy to pack. And then I also had a little dry bag for my phone. I didn't use my phone at all because you get no service down here, but it was nice to keep this in so it kept everything dry and my money and my ID and any credit cards that you're bringing, which you won't need on the trip. And then dry fit clothes. Karen and I were just talking like, if you can get dry fit clothes, you're gonna be drenched and you're gonna want them to dry out as fast as possible. So get as many dry fit shorts, shirts, I mean, you only need like three or four because you can wash them. And let me show you what we use to wash our clothes. So you have to have like biodegradable soap, safe for the outside. This is Campsides. I got this on Amazon as well. And you can wash clothes with. This is, I got only this for like body and hair. This is horrible for hair. I use this for the body, but it was horrible for the hair. We had to borrow, I don't know if you're allowed to use this, but one of the campers had, um, baby Johnson's baby shampoo which was it worked really well I don't know if you're allowed to have it out here though they did have what was that other one no it had a lot of like organic it had aloe and yeah that one I'll try to find a good one for y'all this was horrible for hair and then this is amazing for face this is color science it gives you a nice glow um it's 50 spf and it is water resistant only 40 minutes but it's still amazing and there's so many other things that you need but those are just things i know that made me more comfortable i love my choco sandals for hiking these were really nice and they dried out really fast we had so much fun those are just a few things you need to make sure you follow that list so that's it we're gonna head home Another thing I would recommend if you have a hard time falling asleep, 
is Advil PM or Tylenol PM. I swear, I think that saved my life. And then it gets so hot, like if you're not near the river. So if you can take your cot and sleep by the river, that is the best option without getting wet. So we literally slept like here last night by the river and it was phenomenal because it's like 20 degrees cooler. And then I gotta show you, look at this view where the sun's hitting the top of the mountain. We have had so much fun on this trip. The people we went with were amazing. The guides were phenomenal. We had an absolute blast, but I'm so ready to get home to my babies. We're good. See you soon. ready to chop her out of the Grand Canyon. It's crazy. We've had the best trip. Now I gotta go see my babies. Just made it to Bar 10 Ranch. Our last stop. 